Picasso was the only person that could do this. He's like a sort of Picasso, what he does. No one comes close to him. Likeness and old age makeup, like a person character, a human being is the hardest one to pull off because everybody has an image of that character burned in, in the head. I have to understand what makes Winston Churchill look like Winston Churchill. The hardest part was Gary doesn't look like Winston Churchill at all. Gary's kind of eyes are close to each other, but Winston Churchill is totally opposite. It's pretty much, I would say, impossible to make him look like Winston Churchill. It's uh, always a process of uh, developing and uh, testing. After we took a live cast of Gary, we did um, probably a total of five test makeup in Los Angeles. We sort of went full on making me look as much like Churchill as possible. At the end of the day, you couldn't really see enough of me. We were looking for something that was a hybrid. Churchill and Gary, you needed to be able to see both. So we took some of the appliances away and it was a dance until we found the right balance where it was a remarkable transformation and yet you can still see the actor. It had to be a sort of face that I could work through. David Marinowski and Lucy Sibic is doing application every day and they're doing an amazing job. I was brought in to Darkest Hour to be the prosthetic supervisor to Gary Oldman's look. When the job was offered to me in the first place, I knew that it was going to be too big for myself to do, so I needed to bring someone on board that I could trust, and that was Lucy Civic. We get in, I do the hot towels, and then David and I would glue the pieces ready for Gary to come in, and then we'd put his neck piece on, his cheeks, nose tip, chin, and then paint his head, and David would carry on painting as I put the wig on putting some light specks of colour over the surface so that some of the darker silicon underneath shines through. The pieces are fresh every single day. The pieces are so fragile and have such thin edges that blend into Gary's skin that it's impossible to use them over and over again. One of my big concerns for the job was to get Gary looking the same every day. I just wanted to make sure I spent enough time in getting the details right, so make sure the moles that he's got are in exactly the right place, make sure the veins are the same every day. This is um, the right side of Gary's face here. That's where his nose fits and his mouth. I'm pretty happy with the with that general base tone. When I go on with a hand brush and I pick out all these reds. So there's three different colours in here and then there's sort of a variety of different sizes of, of broken up spatter. And I can get like a really intense colour. You can sometimes see that there's some light, light bits of skin coming through, um, darker redder bits, yellow areas, broken up veins. I mean obviously these this area here connects to the neck piece. The colour of this and the colour of the neck have to be pretty similar, so when you stick them together, you can't see the transition between the two different appliances. This process of painting one set of pieces takes a few hours. It's about three hours, I guess. It's the most intense full-on makeup I've ever done. Every day when we finished Gary's makeup, we would take his makeup off and we'd lay it on this worktop. Once we put the face laid out, we could then compare it to the day before and just to double check that we were getting it right every day. It's probably 30 or 40 kilos of Churchill faces that just kept building up over time. I don't think it's ever been done before, and not this intensely, with this kind of makeup for this amount of days. By the end of it, it worked out that I'd carried around over half my body weight in the prosthetics. I did like 200 hours in a chair. I think David and I just really cared about the makeup. Together, we all just really wanted it to be perfect. It was really nice to be part of something that will hopefully be remembered for a long time. A you know, great part of this art is when makeup combined with amazing actor like Gary Oldman, it will become that person that we intend to create. Here's to, um, so not buggering it up.